Yes, here sir. At the CCA workbench. And Last one of the year. You know what? All my product flow is coming to a halt. I heard there's some hookers in the house. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. Anyway, <laughs> these are the Hooker Electric High Flow. That's right. Bait well pumps. We just uh, we we're talking about what they are, and they are bait well pumps, and they are cool as coolest ones I've ever seen in my whole life. I mean. Look at that. I mean, I, I've never seen a bait well pump <clears throat> that sexy. So what Very makes nice. it so cool? Okay, how many gallons per well, hour? That, that, the little one is 2,500. This one is 4,500. They're variable speed, so you can adjust them, you know, which is very important. You can run uh, four or five live wells off just this one pump alone if you have one of these little uh, manifolds or a sea chest. Actually, this thing will fit outside a sea chest, so it's very easy, uh, easy to access. It's self-cooling, you know, brushless motor inside. It'll last forever. You can tell by just looking at it. It's made well, and and uh, it's, it's has, not a disposable <clears throat> pump. Page that's for sure. Page has one in his 26 Pathfinder, mm -hmm. and it's amazing. You know, sometimes step bottom boats create air. Yeah, they which, suck a lot of air. Which then you get a vacuum. And one of the things I learned about these pumps, using them on the C1 fishing team, mm -hmm. the contender we had, is that when we were running, we have twin steps in that boat. We were able to dial it down if our baits were going and rolling right. around in a circle. You had or a tornado. If we were getting low, we could dial it up. Right. And having that ability while you're running, not have to open or close any valves, it's awesome. Awesome. All right. What else you got? Uh, go to Hooker Electric <clears throat> and get you one of those. HookerElectric.com. All right, these are uh, Starbright Snap and Zipper Lube. Um, you can use this stuff to 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 coat all your little uh, metal pieces on your zippers. You know, you get a jacket, it's got all kinds of metal zippers. Some of the zippers aren't metal, they're plastic, the, the, just the zipper part, but a lot of the times the little, the little doodad that slides up and down, I'm sure there's a name for it, but it's metal. And a lot of times that thing will get corroded, even if you have a plastic zipper. So it's so, always a good idea to have a good lubricant. And so, this is, is one of the best. It's non-toxic, non-staining. Uh, you know, it's a and they pizza. also use these on the snaps. Yeah, you know, like snaps, the snaps like that on, you get on your when you put on your cushion on your, your glass. Finder. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you any, put this on there. And any place where two little pieces of metal are coming together, any hinges, hatches, anything like that, that the snap and zipper lubricant will work for you. Just don't worry about the snap and zipper. It'll work on just about anything. And so. also, it's really good with as far as the temperature variation. Yep, yep. Minus Real minus sixty five to. Up plus to 650. 650. Yeah, so you can burn it up. All right. You'll be burning up now, sure. Yeti, you know what? They've got some cool stuff, Dave. Bucket. Yep. A new bucket. Are yep. you kidding? It's the loadout five it's, gallon bucket. It's, it's the bomb diggity bucket. It, well, you know, it's the king of all buckets, I'm sure. It's, uh, you know, it, it's you got this thing, it's not going to break this webbing. Carrying you know, strap. Carrying strap. It's got uh, a 360. Goes what all are the, the way slits around. In the side board? You can you can either put a knife in there, or it comes with a thing that you can put all the way around it with, with tools, a, a toolkit. You mean can we go, can accessorize yeah, a bucket? It even has a, a little seat to put on the top. You know, if you want to sit on it, this is probably the best thing. The nine nine skid on the bottom. You know, you always have a bucket in the back. It's sliding around everywhere. This one's going to stay where you put it. All right, so Yeti. Get that loadout bucket. Tell me about the new bags. Dave. Well, this these is are the, the, big the one. Yeti Pangas. These are submersible, waterproof. Uh, it's got a waterproof zipper. You can actually use it. Put it on. Put it on your backpack. You can use it as a backpack. Oh, I can backpack. Yep, this? you could backpack it. They come in three different sizes. So and it's oh, yeah. and, and it's perfectly waterproof, Tighten which up. you know is, is very rare these days. So it's good to have something that's that's completely waterproof. All your stuff will stay dry. It's got these quick grab lanyards if you don't want to do what you're doing there because that looks kind of goofy. But uh, I would uh, grab the straps and, and carry it because. You, you, you look like you're gonna go up the mountain See, or something. You said, this is what happens when you call me goofy. Yeah, that's right, I know it. Right here, this is what you get. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bennett Auto Supply. You know, we have a little product every week. I wanted you to get out to Bennett and, and get some of their stuff. Uh, this is a heavy duty corrosion inhibitor. Uh, you, you spray that stuff on anything, it resists salt and, and even humidity. Um, just a good protectorant. So if you wanna get out and get some good, you know, good stuff to keep your metal from deteriorating, get the uh, heavy duty corrosion inhibitor. And you know, the one thing that's so cool about Bennett, CRC. again, we say this every week, is the stuff that they have that's marine driven. Yeah. They have marine batteries, they've got bearing grease. It says they, been on auto supply, but they got all. They got everything. They got everything you yes, could possibly do. need. Good job, Bennett. All right. all right, Dave, you've done a great job this season over here. And Bree, where are oh, we going next? I still can't get past the bomb diggity bucket thing. That was good, Rick.